Yo, what is up, you? Who? What's going on, man? Um, so a lot of stuff has happened uh, since my last video. I haven't been making these videos in a while. I've been really caught up with work and uh, the business, and honestly, it kind of got away from me. I had all these videos stacked up, and they were scheduled, and they were going. Um, then I got to the point where I was just like, oh shoot. I ran out of videos, like all my videos are uploaded already. So, um, gotta make sure I stay on top of that. Um, some, 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 some big things um, have transpired. Uh, of course, the freaking store is going pretty well. Um, it's going really well. Uh, I also branched out into Shopify, and I wanted to try it for a month. I think I'm almost at a month. I didn't gotta double check. But about Shopify is it gives you it gives you more um, it gives you more ways to be um, hands on and I, I think uh, well I guess what I mean by that is like there are more customized options available um, more different things that you can customize blankets clothes like there's so many different things that you can do with Shopify that make it very very unique and all you have to really do is start putting in your artwork make things look good and then that's it people can order it you can order it yourself to, uh, for samples and it's done you know what I'm saying like it's it's done you don't have to um, shit you don't have to uh, I don't have to go back and say oh, okay well let me let me let me let me uh, sublimate this or do this and that. You don't have to do any of that. It's completely hands off. You put the, you put up the artwork like it's supposed to look, and it gets sent out looking just like that. That's what I really love about it. Um, I can definitely see myself falling in love with that, with how that system is set up, simply because it's 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 less work on my part. Um, you know, I already do a lot of work uh, as far as hands on. offering what I offer uh, in my store, uh, but it is a lot of work, it's a lot of hands-on work, and so having that, uh, having that outlet to, to, uh, to basically still run your business without having to do really anything but check your orders and make sure that it's in production and make sure that it gets shipped out, that's it, you know what I mean, that's it, so what I've started doing taking some of those options that I have on Shopify in the store and I've been putting them on my Etsy shop and showing them around and whatnot. So I have people from Etsy and uh, you know, even if they're something like they say, oh okay, well I really like this. It's like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? So I can put that over there and just create the order, create a custom order and uh, get that popping as well. Because uh, that's one of the things that I saw because I was like, man, am I gonna have to order a bunch of these samples and then have them sitting and ready. No, you don't have to do all that. You really don't have to do that. Um, all I gotta really do is be very, very mindful of, of what you're selling, where you're selling it, uh, the availability, the time it takes, and uh, make sure you get to take that correctly. So that's what I've been trying to do, man. Um, it seems like it's going pretty well. Like I said, uh, it's endless possibilities with it. I need to spend more time trying to get more products in there and also just the SEO because uh, that's the hard thing about any website or shop outside of Etsy is the organic traffic. You really have to put in work to get traffic to your store. Um, Shopify, doesn't matter if you have your own website, it doesn't matter. You have to, you have to put time have to spend some money to get your store uh, rated. When I say rated, like I mean uh, the Alexa rating, the Google rating. Like you have to spend it's uh, 
things. Because, but you have to spend money trying to get your store. As I noticed, you have to. There's no, there's like, there's no other way. You know, there's no other way around it. I've tried. Uh, trust me, I've tried. Um, it just doesn't work. <laughs> like. <laughs> Now, I will tell you one thing that I did do um, that really helps if you're coming from another platform such as like Etsy or, or wherever you're at, is to create an email list. If you create an email list, it will make, it will make your job of getting people to your site, um, it, will get, it, will, it will get it much easier. It will, it will make it much easier. I'm going to tell you why. Creating a, a email list literally literally hands people the keys to your new place and it's gonna be there forever now so what I did was I had my email list I built an email list um, with close to I'll say with close to 600 um, 600 people I made an email list and to to really get people's incentive they already shop at my store on Etsy, so to really get people's incentives, I, I ran a, um, I ran a discount um, for the new store, for the Shopify store, and I said, you know, you come over, find something, find some things that you like. I'll give you automatically. I'll give you like 35% off just for coming. So what happened was, is a lot of those people, they did come. They shared. Uh, they shared the website and stuff like that, so it created its own organic traffic in a way. That's what really got got the uh, the store going right away. So free hand me basically. Um, I will tell you the the other best way to get organic traffic. Oh, well, it's not well. It is organic, but you're paying for it. Um, you got you have to look at uh, different social media. Um, TikTok is something that I'm looking into, but I'm not really sold on it. Uh, it just seems like a lot of work to seems like a lot of work to get people. I don't know the 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 variety on on TikTok. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. I have no idea. But um, give me one second. I'm gonna order this food. So. You can use multiple um, social media platforms to, to advertise. Facebook is okay. I've kind of gotten away from Facebook. They're very, very, um, they're very, very particular about what they will allow you to advertise. Um, it's completely against freedom of speech, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, it just depends on what you post. If they don't find it something that they care for, they will not allow it. Um, and that is just the raw truth. Uh, for example, um, I sell a lot of uh, Israelite clothing, and for some reason, Facebook does not like you promoting Israeli products. <laughs> um, to a certain demographic that isn't the demographic that is widely accepted today so I posted a bunch of uh, Israelite clothing uh, modern Israelite clothing and the demographic which I was speaking to is something that they were not they didn't agree with so they, they took that down right so I had somebody else run the same ad slightly different and what happened to them? They shut that down too. So, Facebook is not. Um, I don't deal with Facebook really anymore. Give me one second. Yeah, so I don't. I don't deal with Facebook anymore, man. They, it's a. It's run by Nazis. Um, I mean, they did the thing. They did the same thing when I was running Bitcoin ads and things like that. Um, so I, I don't fool Facebook personally. But if you like Facebook. For whatever you're doing it might work for you um, there are other other ways like uh, I haven't tried um, snapchat um, you got Pinterest you got all these different ones that you can use to really maximize what you're doing Instagram 
uh, but Instagram is also run by Facebook. So if you don't have a Facebook sell, uh, Facebook ad account, uh, they're not gonna you're not a, you're not gonna be allowed to to sell on Instagram. But or I would say you can sell on Instagram. You just can't advertise. Um, so you really have to just build your social standing, whatever you're doing, uh, drive traffic. Now, to me, some of the best organic traffic that you can pay for is going to be through Pinterest. Uh, it just depends on what you're selling and what you're doing. But as long as you have great keywords, you have a, uh, a specific type of audience that you're dealing with, um, you will definitely see over some time, you will definitely see uh, the potential of, uh, of getting that organic traffic. So that's what I've personally been doing. Uh, after my email list, I've been putting out ads for things that I sell um, for as cheap as a dollar a day. That's my motto. Um, even with um, even with like Etsy and stuff like that, I spend a dollar a day. Now lately with Etsy, I've been spending five dollars a day, and what I've been seeing that five dollars that I spend a day is literally the if I make one sale a day, that 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 sale is greater than that five dollars that i spent to advertise it. so if i can spend five dollars a day and make fifty dollars a day just on a just as an example to me that's worth it it's worth it because i don't sell anything in my store that's less than five dollars so to me spending five dollars is a is a great sacrifice if it's going to be bring at least one or more sales a day so you know, you, you got to look at different things like that. I know, uh, trust me, if you're going to go completely organic, absolutely no advertising, I think Etsy is the, is the best place to uh, to get started. But it's really hard on Etsy. Uh, that's not saying that you can't get noticed or can't get ranked on Etsy uh, if you don't advertise. But it is a lot harder. Um, I feel like you have to have with any platform you have to have really great uh, SEO and um, because it's about getting your your product or whatever you're selling ranked it's about getting it out there on the first one to two pages of wherever you're selling because a lot of people don't go past the second page when they're scrolling for stuff so you want to make sure that you're kind of in that in that realm to, to get to get seen um, but yeah, Shopify is going good. Uh, Etsy is going good. Uh, in person is going good. Uh, I'm definitely not looking to get a physical shop. Simply, you might be able to get a good deal right now since all the commercial real estate owners are basically in hell right now because real estate, commercial real estate, is is not a good thing to really be in right now. Lots of people out of work, lots of people, lots of businesses who can't afford rent, uh, business rent, uh, utilities and things like that. Uh, it's not it's not good for commercial real estate owners. Um, so I would suspect that pretty soon they'll be willing to to lower the prices and get people in their in their in their real estate uh, to be able to make money again. So it might be a good a good deal to, to get into a place around this time. I personally am gonna avoid it because that's just overhead that I don't feel is necessary. Uh, now it would be great to get a um, to get a physical storefront uh, in my area just to be able to have an actual physical place uh, where people can come to uh, that doesn't that's not my house because <laughs> I don't have anybody come to my house. I always meet people um, and whatnot, but it would be nice. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna look into that you should look into if you're gonna do uh, a lot of things in person is look for um, trade shows, uh, not even just trade shows, look for areas in your city where you can like set up shop. One second. Yeah, so um, look for things like that like trade shows um areas that like there's a spot over here by my house i don't think it's a great location but i might try it out anyway um where people just set up you know they come out with their 
their car or their van or whatever and they set up tables and they're just selling stuff from, from watermelon to foods to you know whatever it is that they're selling they have that over here uh, which is pretty dope so i'm thinking about trying to do something like that uh to avoid a storefront you just got to make sure that wherever you are uh, you need to make sure that you have the proper licenses whatever you need to get permits or whatever to do that Last thing you want to do is get arrested um, for selling things without proper knowledge of how to do that. So that's kind of what I'm looking into. Um, again, there's so many different things that you can be doing to advance your store, your business. You really have to spend time on your business. Uh, I've stressed that many, many times. Um, I have a hard time with not necessarily concentrating on my business, but I have a hard time with separating uh, my playtime and business time. Uh, what I mean by that is like, so I was off the entire week this last week. I took annual leave from my job. And one of my main things that I really wanted to do was, was sit down and get back into gaming like I have wanted to for so long, but between work and the business, it doesn't leave me with much time. Not only just work and business, but you know, my, my kids, they do soccer. They, you know, so we're constantly, you know, my kids do soccer Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three days a week, um, you know, which, is, which is a lot of time. So, you know, by the time I get home, like, it just, it's, it's, it doesn't, it's not enough time to do everything, right? So that's been sitting on the back burner. So this whole week, um, I've concentrated on business, I've concentrated on a lot of just gaming, doing what I want to do, um, kind of blowing off this thing, like, let me relax, let me, you know, let me do that, let me chill, and I love it, so I need to structure better how to, uh, how to run my business and how to enjoy my free time um, outside of the obligations that I have, um, those other obligations. And it's, it, like I said, it's tough, uh, but it can be done. Um, one thing that I learned with my business that my wife has stressed with me is um, is setting boundaries uh, like you would do with a regular job. So every day I run my business now, which is so hard for me to do, but I run my business from an eight to 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. type of business. And what I mean by that is that when I, when I wake up from 8 to 4 is when I actually work on orders and, and things of that nature. Now, I have a bad habit because sometimes I'll just be up and if an order comes in at 8 o'clock, I'll just say, you know what, let me, let me, let me knock that order out. You know, if it's a Glowforge order, oh, okay, they're getting this sign. You know, I'll just start working whenever stuff comes in. And my wife doesn't like that. And, you know, obviously it's not the best wife practice, but I just like to get stuff, when stuff comes in, I like to get stuff out ASAP. So that's what I have been doing. So I've had to dial back and say, you know what, I'm only going to do business from 8 to 4. After 4 o'clock, I have to deal with it the next day. I'm not going to, I'm not going to overextend myself and, it's still worth it. It's my business, but you gotta have some structure. You know what I mean. So, if you learn anything today, make sure you make sure you you spend time on your business. One thing, the other thing that I have a problem with is organizing what I want to do for my business. So, for example, today I need to I need to create products today, but I also need to work on new artwork and designs so usually when this happens I'm so conflicted that I'm just I end up not doing much of anything because I am <laughs> I don't know what to do first and so like that's one of the things like that happened to me this last week I know I need to do a lot of things but I rarely got to do anything because I was I couldn't figure out what to start first and 
usually when I ended up in a stalemate like that, I would just say, you know what, forget it. I'm about to play some Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, I wouldn't say total neglect this last week, but I will say definitely didn't spend much time as I wanted to uh, or that I usually am used to on the business. So, that being said, I know this is a long video. Hopefully, you're still rocking with me. Uh, but that's going to be it, man. I I'm going to give you that little, that little tidbit, that that little nugget of knowledge and hopefully you can apply it and uh, help yourself but until the next one catch you in the next one